What's coming up next? It's Weeknight Update with Ellie Mueller, then the morning show starring Rebel Wilson, and extremely early with Edward Scott. That's all still to come on Nick at Night. From the YouTube Dojo, where <laughs> all the uh, morning uh, poetry memes have uh, been uh, ironed out. Wait, huh? It's a week now up there with Ellie Mueller. Now, may I tell Mori Povich, Mori, you are retired. Enjoy your retirement, sir. I'm on the can all the jokes, you know. Mr. Ellie Gunny Mueller. Ha! Well, the week now, I'll take Ellie Gunny Mueller and talk about choppers. Yes! Theme song in the uh, segment throws are made by Hannah Gale. You know the rest, right? Alright. Uh, tonight's child talk with us are Dan Weezer. She still doesn't have a YouTube channel, but she means a lot to me and, uh, we, uh, update. You know, I don't know, uh, when she'll be back uh, to do, uh, new uh, stuff for the, uh, show, but we'll see how it all uh, plays out. The Color Beanie Crew and the Camera Lady, I gotta give it up, uh, to them because they are excellent at what they do. The Color Beanie Crew will be returning... You know, this upcoming week, actually, uh, on Monday, as it turns out. And, uh, that, uh, team will be, uh, producing, uh, quality, uh, sketch after quality sketch. Alright? The camera lady is, uh, pretty cool, uh, as well, and you can see her, uh, do some interesting things on her channel. You know, and I've been having great, uh, conversations, uh, with the book, uh, 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 with the people who are in charge of both of those channels, and they are really, really, excuse me, really good. And uh, Rosalina and Pauline Gamer Guy 2021, I know I gave uh, that person a shout out yet from last night, but I gotta give him a shout out uh, again because that person knows how to entertain people online. So let's clap it up and give it up for both of those, uh, uh, let's give it up for all of those people, yes. Let's give it up for all of those people, yes. Oh my goodness. Alright. Here we go. What's up? What's up with Mori Povich? A guy who can finally call himself one thing. Retired. He said that now that he is no longer on TV, he wants to get into the newspaper business. Good luck. Newspapers are free now. And they're also online. Now hold on. He got a lot of uh, flack for how he uh, treated his guests. What did he say later on? He said that he had seen a, only a lot of happy uh, endings on more. You know, for the audience, not for the guests. Wake up! Oh my goodness. This is getting ridiculous now. Alright, uh, let's do uh, another top 8 list with MP. Huh? Here we go. Top 8 list, here we go! Thank you, Mr. Mueller. Today's category, top 8 things that more politics will never talk about again. Number 8, violence. Number 7, chasing. Number 6, weird tests. Number 5, lying. Number 4, scandals. Number 3, arguments. Number 2, dancing. And number 1, weird stuff. And yet... All the uh, Maori uh, means will continue to live on. I don't know how, but whatever. Thank you, MP. And we got more coming at you right after this. Make sure you uh, like it up and uh, you cut it up with me in the comments. Subscribing is always a good thing. Also, ringing the bell and sharing. Uh, we got a lot uh, to talk to you about uh, after uh, you take a look at this. Is it still weak enough? update? here it is. You're fine tonight. There she is! Uh, my love, I come for you! Nah, bro, this place has got Wi Fi. It's so fast. Right? Hello, Amsel from TV Land. Why don't you join us? Cause it's crazy. It's really crazy. It's Nick and Nick. 
I'd like to show you another terrific reason to buy your new carpeting from Empire. This is a new push-button telephone we're offering free with any carpet purchase during Empire's 25th anniversary celebration. So now you get good carpeting from 695 a yard installed with padding, you get delivery in 72 hours, you get a credit plan with no installment payment for 60 days, and you get a free telephone with any order. So call us right now. 588-2300 Empire I got one for you, Ma. It's Empire's factory-approved Mohawk carpet sale. We're authorized to cut prices 50% on pressure-resistant and stain-resistant Mohawk carpet. We have a warehouse full, so we can bring samples to your home and install your new carpet next day, complete with padding, with no interest or monthly payments till January 2002. Save 50% on Mohawk. Call now. 588-2300 Empire. Mr. Robert Scott and the boys. Good to see you, Red. Good to see you, Mr. Mueller. Wow. Can't believe that more Poets just ended his uh, show after 31 years. Yeah, I know. It's rough. <laughs> I mean, Roy Povich, uh, you know, it came on uh, the air, you know, in the early 90s. You know, and I think for most of uh, our lives, you know, uh, Maury has always been on TV, and now he's not going to be on TV anymore. Yeah, it's going to be pretty weird. <laughs> yeah, almost as, uh, yeah, yeah. It is uh, going to be uh, pretty weird. You know, I don't know what's going to happen next. Uh, is it talking time? Yeah, it is talking time, but first, you know, I just want to uh, make a little uh, note of uh, what uh, you're uh, probably seeing in the background. You know, you're probably wondering why we got uh, new uh, cabinets and things like that. Well, uh, my family and I are uh, working on uh, our kitchen, you know, and you have seen uh, the kitchen before on this uh, program, you know, in its uh, original uh, form, and things like that. Well, the kitchen has been uh, you know, in need uh, of, a of a repair, of, uh, although, uh, let, although, not, uh, although originally not in uh, a lot of uh, repair, but nonetheless, you know, we have been working on it uh, for a while, and we should be uh, done with it, you know, uh, very, very soon. And when we do, you know, we'll, uh, we'll show you a little bit of uh, a remote. Well, actually, we'll show you, uh, you, know, uh, you know, a videotape uh, piece on, you know, everything that has been going on, you know, with the kitchen. So that way you'll see, you know, how uh, everything has changed. You know, over the uh, past uh, few weeks or something like that. Alright, so hang tight. And yes, it is time for a little talking time. Let's go, huh? Here we go. What time is it? It's talking time. So, let's talk about it. Wow. This. Now, what we're going to talk about tonight is going to be uh, pretty interesting. And... I think uh, the one, uh, um, I think that the only other person, you know, besides me, who can uh, resonate with this is uh, Adam. Adam, come here, man. You might want to, uh, might want to listen to this, okay? Now, you remember uh, Maury? Who? You know, Maury, Maury Povich, the guy who always said, you are a father. Okay. You know, the guy who has been memed uh, more times than a tooth fairy. Okay. Well, recently, he had decided to retire after 31 years. And the guy is 83 years old. Okay. Good. He shouldn't retire. 
Yeah. Yeah, but people uh, didn't expect him to be on the air for that long. I mean, 31 years. Yeah. I mean, uh, 3,600 shows since 1991. That's a lot. So he filmed what? 3,000 times? What? Yeah, he has filmed over 3,600 shows. Alright. After the first thousand, it's like, eh, I'll just talk. Yeah, it, this show was pretty much on the autopilot. That's what I'm saying, like, geez. But this is what uh, he said he's going to do after uh, everything has been said and done. Well, now that everything has been said and done. You now, he is going to uh, pay attention to uh, the newspaper that he founded with his wife, Connie Kung. Why did he make a newspaper? Yeah, I know. Newspapers are uh, pretty much digital now. But yet, bro, uh, he's like 80 something. Like, bro, just chill, bro. You don't need no fucking newspaper. Just go buy the, I don't know, uh, McDonald's down the fucking street and chill. Bro. Yeah, but uh, this is what he said. He said that Connie and I, believe it or not, against the grain, 15 years ago, lived in Montana in the summer for like 25 years. So we started a newspaper. The newspaper was called the Flathead uh, Beacon. Flathead Beacon? Yeah. That's weird, okay, come on. You know, because uh, they live in the uh, Flathead Valley. Keep going. You know, and uh, he said, uh, you know, I'll be very active in that. All these newspapers are uh, closing and I started one. That, you know what that, what that sounds like? There is a dying business, so I fucking bought one of those businesses. Like what? Like that? Won't you just end up the same as the other guys because you don't know what what you're doing and you're doing the same thing that's going down? That's like streaming services are 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 going down. So I made my my own <laughs> like. Well, that's what uh, people on uh, Quibi did. And Quibi, or Quibi, only lasted like uh, three weeks. Yeah, because they had, they had no good show, right? One. And two. All those shows are like uh, 10 minutes long. That, that helped me nothing. And then two, guess what? You don't go into a dying industry. You don't. If fast food is dying, you don't go into that. If newspapers are dying, you don't go into that. You know, this is what uh, Morty said about how uh, you know everybody. Uh, you know, people said that uh, he was exploiting uh, the people who uh, appeared on uh, his uh, show, right? How? I don't know uh, how, but you know, I, I guess they were. Uh, you know, uh, comparing uh, Maury to uh, all the reality TV shows and things like that. He said, well, well, well this is what he said, you know, according to Los Angeles Times. You know, they, they can take that tack, but I feel there's a greater good. Not, not proved that. I bring these guests back 15 years later and find out that the guy did get uh, into the kid's life, got together with the mother, and they had more kids, and the child ended up with a good job. There are a lot of good endings with these stories. I'm not saying it's the majority of them, but a significant amount shows that the stories and results have been helpful. Essentially, he's saying, Hey, yo, guys, I just say if you're the dad or not, I don't change your change lives. If you want to go, okay, I, I am the dad. Let me be a good person and okay, good. Go be that person. But he he really don't got nothing to do with it. Well, he does, but he, but he doesn't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now here's the thing, okay? Even though Maury uh, decided to uh, retire uh, this past summer, guess how uh, long he has been thinking about retirement? A couple years. Six years. See? 
couple years. But NBC and Universal I said, no, 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 you gotta stay. Why? You know, they wanted uh, him to have the longest running TV date on talk show. Yeah, and uh, what's I like about the whole thing? Like, what's I like about the whole thing was that you know I think he had already passed uh, the longest running uh, date on talk show. Does Oprah Winfrey have the longest running uh, date on talk show? Twenty five years. Why oh, is Oprah okay? Go on. Yeah, you see, Oprah, you know, retired in what two thousand ten or something like that, two thousand nine. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Maury uh, decided to retire uh, six years ago, right? Okay. Meaning that uh, if he had retired back then, you know, he probably would have uh, tied uh, Opa. Or barely uh, being Opa. Okay, so NBC was like, hey, yo, let me have this thing. Okay, great. Which is weird, but okay. I don't know. I, I just want to say, personally, Weird episode. This, like, this guy, what, what did he do? He didn't really uh, do much. I mean, he just, uh, you know, uh, presented everybody with lie detector tests and uh, things like that. Exactly. All they did was, you're a fucking liar. You are the child. That's not the dad. I'm sorry. But it's the thing, right? Uh, Maury has been mean more times than two Fairy. I mean, have you seen all these uh, Maury uh, memes that said lie detector uh, test is telling you're telling a lie, or you're telling the truth. You are the father. You are not the father. You know what I mean, right? I mean, that's what Maury has always been. Ma or Ma. I'm telling you folks, my mind is still going haywire, but at least uh, Adam uh, came by to uh, help us out. Whew. All I'm going to say is, well, thank you so much for watching. The experiments are coming up right now, and all that good jazz. I'll see you on Monday. That's the news. I'm out, skis. For wall by for wall. Hey, uh, it's time for DNA Experiments. Back when we uh, started doing DNA Experiments on this program, I couldn't uh, really do this. <laughs> now I can. Uh, I'm really uh, happy about that. Aren't you? Hey, folks. We still don't know if Dan Weezer uh, is going to uh, come back uh, to the show or not. But we still have some of our uh, best moments you know, lined up. You know, from uh, the past uh, few weeks of uh, the show, and you know, we're going to uh, play them uh, for you right now. All right, so here we go, one more time. Let's do it. Do you? Anyway, let's lo take a look at some tricks, shall we? Oh boy. So this dog is on the slide right now, and I hope that he will be okay. He got off the slide and back in the playground. Now he's just sliding all the way down with a ball in his mouth. Moving on. So Elizabeth Banks is the third host of the Press Your Luck franchise, and people think that she's an awesome host. Really? Have we forgotten about Peter Tomerkin and Todd Newton? What's wrong with you? I am a random fellow, and... When it comes to a television hosting, Maury Povich, you are retired. Wow. So Maury Povich went from reporting on television to hosting a talk show for over 30 years to now reporting the news uh, via the old newspaper. Wow. Talk about uh, a roller coaster of a career, huh? So, what did we learn? Well, we learned that Maury Povich is uh, leaving TV uh, to get into uh, the world of newspapers. And we also learned, hey, Maury Povich uh, doesn't always uh, make uh, the interview speak. Actually, let's be honest, you know, his show is just about as real as it can get. 
And again, you know, he could have done without all the fighting and things like that. Man! We gotta move, but thank you so much for uh, tuning in. Here it is, your musical performance time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the end of the week again. That means it's time for another musical performance time performance. This time, I got a little surprise for you. It is my own original composition, alright? So buckle up, it's gonna be good. Here we go.